Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Adram Inquiries. Adram basically means replying without digressing. That is, we reply without deviating from the fundamental issues that we have to address in our reply so in this particular video or in this particular channel we will be discussing a plethora of topics concerning society philosophy science social consciousness changes transformative transformatory changes pole science economics mathematics etc so you might be now thinking, what are we not going to discuss? Well, the thing is that this particular channel I have created so that, you know, it, this gives us a space to discuss about events that are happening in contemporary world, in contemporary world. In all of the spheres, which have the potential to impact on in the society in general. For example, advent of internet. Now, advent of internet can be studied from various aspects right it can be said from the aspect of science and tech it can be said from the aspects of economics the impact of the advent of uh, internet on the economics of a state or of, of the world in general the science and tech aspects include the technologies that were behind internet and that were at play you know behind the development of internet and so on and so forth. So the advent of internet can also be studied in terms of its impact on social institutions like education system. Family. media and so on and so forth so the purpose of this particular the purpose of this particular uh, channel is to discuss not is to discuss and not you know it's not going to be a monologue i of course understand that this is this particular channel that I'm expressing through it's a one-way communication but then again YouTube provides us a very fantastic platform to post our comments and for a particular topic that I am discussing say I I posted a topic on say advent of internet this channel basically will give a space to all of the individuals to come here and comment upon the way internet has shaped the various spheres of social life that is our focus will be the impact of changes that are happening in the contemporary world on societal consciousness right so 
and then again you can share you know and then our uh, approach will be or at least my approach will be when i am presenting this you know uh, then i'll be presenting say a particular topic will be clinical detached and it will be substantiated with a lot of studies that is it's not going to be some random thoughts that have that i have come across my mind i'm going to quote these studies i'm going to quote you know uh, research papers wherein through a particular rationale that is through rationality through rationality plus data plus studies research papers and observations we will try to analyze a particular social change and its impact for example let's say we just discussed uh, we just discussed say you know the advent of internet and how the advent of internet you know what are the possible ramifications of the advent of internet on the societal consciousness let's take another example say women empowerment now women empowerment has done a lot for women no doubt about it but how women empowerment has impacted family in general how women empowerment has impacted say homosexuality you know there are studies which say that since the advent of women empowerment homosexuality has increased both in male and female now we can understand and we can appreciate maybe through some rational that homosexuality has increased in female for some reason because they are now more empowered and open and everything but how come homosexuality has increased in males because of women empowerment you know what relates is to this so these small phenomena which we are actually ignoring these phenomena that we are ignoring you know the changes that are happening around us because of the transformatory you know transformatory uh, movements social movements that have taken place this will be a place that we can come and discuss and talk about them my job will my job will be to give you guys in a very clinical detached and in a very you know objective manner as objective as i can be without giving my own biases prejudices and without giving my own inclinations i will try to prove you or i will try to prove in front of you date through as i said through data research papers you know figures through rationality as to the impact of a social phenomena say women empowerment education you know uh, the uh, the lgbtq community uh, community right uh, community movements the advent of internet the the citizenship amendment act uh, with respect to india the black lives movement you know in america all these contemporary movements and how these movements first of all why they emerged in the first place what has been their impact on the various social institutions that exist and how they are transforming the social consciousness why there has been an advent of right in the society why right wing politics right now is is gaining favor all over the india i mean in in with respect to india if you look up if you think if you think about it modi ji many people say you know he is a right wing he belongs to of course a right wing 
political party called BJP. Now, right wing political parties are by nature conservative in nature. That is, they promote the interests of elites, which Modi ji, some people may argue, which he is doing. He is, he himself has said, we have to respect the, you know, wealth makers. The wealth makers or the wealth generators need to be respected. Right? That is what, this is what Modi ji is saying. So, you know, follow me here. Modi ji belongs to BJP, right wing party, conservative in nature. Promotion of traditions, interests of elites, which in today's society means capitalist class. Okay. So Modi ji belongs to BJP, it's a right wing party, conservative promotion of which Modi ji is himself has said also in a rally. The wealth generators need to be respected. Then why the masses are voting for Modi ji? Please appreciate, please appreciate so think about it guys right so these topics so if so think about it uh, you know guys so why okay so l let me also tell you know uh, share this that society can be in a way defined as a class struggle class struggles between the haves and have nots so in a capitalist society there is a class struggle between the capitalist class versus the labor class right so why modi ji who is an agent of capitalist class is being voted by the labor class we all understand and appreciate that capitalist class or even the middle class in India, they don't vote that much. In fact, the whole voting percentage is around 40% only, or in fact, less than that, around 38.9, which primarily const constitutes of labor class. So all of these phenomena, right, these mind puzzling phenomena, why are these, you know, there is a reason why labor class is supporting Modi ji, even though he's supporting the interest of capitalist class. All of these changes, we will be, I will be, my job will be, to present before you in a clinically detached manner with enforced with rationality, data, research papers, study papers and every other aspect. And then in the comment section, you can be subjective about your opinions. While my job is to present facts and, uh, you know, data and research paper and opinions uh, objectively in front of you, you can be subjective in your comments and share your crude understanding, right? Your crude understanding of how things are working, of how things, of how things are working uh, as per your understanding. And if you agree or disagree with what, whatever we have stated in the video, and what is it, your experience? What does your experience say in general? And then we can have a wholesome discussion based upon you know uh, in terms of our replies to comments and so on and so forth then as our relationship you know between uh, as me as a presenter and uh, you guys as you know people who are audience to this information it grows we can uh, open a further uh, venues of you know communication and wherein i'll be taking suggestions from you which social change or which phenomena i should be addressing in the next video, in the next lecture, 
uh, and you know and probably we can also move from the you know in, in interaction from a comment you know youtube comment uh, section based interaction towards a more wholesome interaction based channel channels of communication like a website wherein we can uh, basically talk about the, th the stuff that we have discussed here i know the presentation of this particular like you know uh, video was not nice i was just scribbling something down on my notepad but this is the first lecture i just want to see the response of the next 10 or so uh, videos that i'm going to upload if the response has been good i'll definitely improve my uh, presentation but the idea is to give you ideas the ideas is to give you solid brain transforming <coughs> contemplatively contemplative ideas thank you very much for watching this video take care